Hello guys, in this video we will install Node on Windows and you will create your very first simple Hello World application in Node. We will cover how to install Node, why and how to use package.json file and finally we will create a simple Node application. And you can follow this tutorial even if you have no prior knowledge about Node at all. And if you don't know what Node is, a simple explanation is that Node is a server environment which allows you to write and use JavaScript on the server instead of, for example, using PHP, Java or C on the server side. Node is built on Google Chrome's V8 engine, which you probably use every day if you're using the Google Chrome browser. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Simply install Node on Windows, so go ahead and visit nodejs.org slash em slash download and just hit the Windows installer. This is just a normal installer which we're going to fire up and hit next. Next, then we can install it to programfly slash nodejs and next. Uh, and we can just leave this as default. We will we installed the Node.js runtime, which we need, the npm package manager, uh, and uh, online documentation shortcuts if you want that, and as well as adding Node to our environment path variable, which will make it possible to use Node from the Windows command line. So let's go ahead and click next, and let's start installing. And that's it, Node has been successfully installed. So let's just click finish and that's it. Now go ahead and open up a command line in Windows. And just to try it out, we can type node slash v to get the current version of Node, which is 8.11.3. And since we're getting that, we know that Node has been successfully installed. We're also gonna check the version of npm which stands for node package manager and you use it to install packages into your applications npm is the world world's largest uh, software registry and you will probably use it quite a lot if you're using node so we're just gonna check that npm has been installed correctly by typing npm and then version as you can see we're getting 5.6.0 so we also installed npm so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a very simple project since we already have node installed now. Let's kind of hit CLS to clear everything up. And let's just create a new directory. And we can call this uh, hello world. Let's see it into hello world. And what we're going to type now uh, to initialize our very first uh, node project is npm init. What this will actually do is we'll create a package.json file for us where we will give uh, this uh, application a name and a version amongst other things. Some short information about the package.json file. What it does is it lists packages this project depends on. It allows you to specify package versions. It also makes the build reproducible, which makes it a lot easier to share the application with other developers you can for example just ship it away and someone can say npm init and install all packages inside this node installation you will understand how this works once you start working with it but it's very simple now the package name um oh sorry the package.json file must have two properties a name and a version the name must be lowercase and one word. Hyphens and underscores are allowed. And we can call this hello world, it's perfectly fine. Version 1.0.0, yes. Description, we can give it a description. Let's say uh, hello world application. The entry point, let's change that to app.js. This will be the main file for application. Test command, we don't need that. Git repo, nope. Keywords, nope. Author. 
you can just give this your name it's the author of the application license isc is perfectly fine for this and as you can see this is how our package.json file will look is this okay yes that's perfectly fine so now we can go ahead and open up uh, the project in your uh, preferred text editor i'm using sublime text so let's just go ahead and open it up and as you can see here we got this uh, package.json which we just created so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a very simple a very simple uh, hello world application with a server listening on a port and sending a message back to the client so go ahead and create a new file you can save this as uh, app.js as we specified as the entry point for application and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to re require the http module so let's say http equals with require and then simply just http the http model is a built-in module called http as you can see which allows uh, node.js to transfer data over the hypertext transfer uh, hypertext transfer protocol which you know as http then we're going to create a new sort server object which listens on the port we specify we're going to give it a port of 3000 in this case this will fire up a local server listening on the specified port so what we're going to do is http and then call a function called create server we're going to pass in a function so argument which takes a request and a response like that then what we're going to do is we're simply going to send a response to the client and then end the response uh, so we're going to say rest.write uh, and let's just say hello world and then rest.n which will end the response so simply like that we're also going to specify a port for the server to listen on in this case we're going to say uh, we want it to listen on port 3000 like that all right so let's open up your command line again, again and uh, hit cls just to clear everything up and uh, what we're going to do now is we're simply going to call node and say app to start um, the app oh sorry i misspelled the create server function it's supposed to be like this let's fire it up again so node app and this have started up the server on port 3000 so let's open up your browser and let's say http localhost 3000 and you can see we're getting a message sent to the client which is hello world so that's how you install node and create a very very simple hello world application in node